we're going to walk through the steps to install new firmware so on an account. So first we'll go to midcomcorp.com in any browser. <clears throat> go to the downloads section and scroll down until you see we're going to need to load the kit 6k firmware and you can just save it. Uh, I like to open the folder and that way I can see what it is and then click on the application file and then it's just going to walk you through a simple wizard. Uh, you just click next and it'll put it on your desktop so you don't have to mess with anything. You just keep clicking next every time you see it and close it you'll be fine. That one's that simple. We'll just close out of this. The next thing we're going to want to download is the version of firmware. So we have 180 or 179 currently. We're going to choose 179 because we want pricing. Uh, same thing. We're going to hit save and open folder. This one's going to want to put it in our download folder and it's a zip file. So I will right click and I'll say extract all. But instead of just putting it where, I, where it wants to, I'm going to browse to the desktop. It's just going to make it easier for us to find it later. So I'll just click the desktop, <clears throat> and I'm going to name this, I'm going to put a new folder in there, I'm going to name it 179, since that's the version of software. And click Extract, and it's there. Should be able to close out of all of this. And I'm going to, actually now I'm going to hook up my USB to serial adapter. So I first want to go to my device manager and look at all my devices. And I'm gonna look for ports. Right now I don't have any ports, but once I plug in a USB to serial adapter, it's going to, everything's gonna disappear and pop back up and it's gonna show ports. And there's my port. It has it at COM3. That doesn't work real well for our program. So we wanna change that to COM1. So if I double click on it, go to port settings and advanced, you can see I have COM3. I can just click on the little down arrow and scroll up to COM1 and click OK. And We'll have another window here I'm going to click OK on as well. And now you can see it is set at COM1. So that's perfect. Um, now the matrix and our um, kit 6K is going to work just fine. So let's go ahead and open up the matrix utility and uh, let's get all from the e-count because we're going to uh, reset every setting in there. So we want to save these settings. Then we want to get the calibration data, so we got to go to the calibration tab, get calibration data, and then you can see it gives us all our calibration factors. So now I'm going to save this file to the computer, so save matrix file. And I'm going to name it, now I'm just saying this is truck 10 and maybe the serial number of the register. If you have a bunch of them, you'd want to do this. Using a screwdriver, back out the program screw, two or three rotations. I'm going to open up kit 6K. And I need to find the command file for that what we just found. So I'm going to go back to my desktop, find the 179 folder. There's a few folders to click through. I finally find the file. And you can see it starts counting down hex lines. That means it's adding, uh, it's writing the program to the e-count. This is good. Um, once the process is complete, we know we've reset it. And that the register would show like this. It'll say reset cycle power.